In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure ROS1 Noetic on Ubuntu 20.04. So first of all, you can open a terminal okay, on, on the side and on the other side, you can open a web browser and simply type install ROS Noetic. So this will give you this page on wiki dot ros dot org so you click on that and you will choose ubuntu okay so we are going to start by following the instructions here so you have to set up the sources first if you don't do that then you will not be able to find ros when you install it with apt so you can copy and paste that you will need to provide your password and then set up the keys so you can copy the first instruction you don't need to do the second one and then we are going to do apt update okay to update with the new sources that we have and then we can install ROS Noetic so you have three options here desktop full desktop and ROS base what is the difference so ROS base will just contain the bare bones so the core packages and the core features is everything you need to run ROS programs, but you don't have any graphical tool, you don't have much debugging tool, so it's the very basic. If, for example, you have a Raspberry Pi and you run it headless, that may be a good option. Then you have the desktop install. So this is everything in ROS base, so all the core functionalities and tools like RQT. RQT is great for debugging and RVs, which is a 3D visualization tool for your robot so if you are using a desktop like me this is a good option and then you have the desktop full which is everything in desktop and 2d 3d simulators etc basically for example if you want to use gazebo then use desktop full so i'm going to install desktop full if you have enough space on your computer this is the best option to start with okay and for me it's already installed so i have nothing else to do for you you will have several hundred packages to install okay this can be quite impressive but yeah basically you just press enter and you have to wait it can take a few minutes maybe one hour depending on your internet connection speed and the performance of your computer and once the installation is finished well you don't have anything else to install for ros noetic it is correctly installed now you can start to use it and before you use ROS Noetic well you need to set up the environment so let's close this terminal basically if you open a new terminal and if you try to do ROS core for example well ROS core is not found and this is because you need to set up the environment so for every terminal you open you need to set up the environment so you can use ROS Noetic so you need to source that script here so you have this line and now you can use roscore okay so that that works and if you open a new terminal you also need to source this line here okay, if you don't do it you won't get access to ros noetic and you need to do that for every new terminal you open so that can be quite annoying so what you can do is simply to add this to the bash rc so just once okay so you just press enter with this command echo will add this line so this is uh, what we've executed before to the bash rc script and to check that you can do jdit and go to the bash rc file so you open the bash rc and you go to the end and at the end you should see this line so you should have this line only once and now every time you open a new terminal ros noetic will be correctly set up and now it works okay and one final addition is if you want to install a new package in ros noetic because here you have many packages already but as you develop with ROS you will see that at some point you will need to install new packages and actually this is very easy so you can do sudo first sudo apt update of course and then sudo apt install 
And then all packages for ROS noetic will start with ROS dash noetic dash and then the name of the package. So for example, if you want to install turtle sim, then you will do ROS noetic turtle sim. Okay, and for me it's already installed. So ROS dash noetic dash whatever package you want to install. If you liked the video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. And also, if you are learning ROS, check out my online courses so you can learn ROS 1 and also ROS 2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.